Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the St. Louis versus Wichita State college basketball matchup on Sunday, November 19th, 2023. I do tons of free picks every day, and to find out which games of those I like the best, head on over to PickDogs.com and click on the Premium Picks tab. Of course, use the discount code PICK. You'll get 15% off all your purchases. We also have the Pick Dogs Dime Club and Sharp Trading Plays meant for people who make big bets. If you make big bets, well, this one's for you. So text that number you see on the screen because it's not available anywhere else. Can't get it on the website, so text. But let's get to this one. St. Louis taking on Wichita State. Two good teams, but ended up here by losing their prior game. For St. Louis, they got blitzed by Vermont. And Wichita State, well, they got crushed by Liberty. I like what Wichita State is doing this year. I certainly think that they're headed in the right direction. But at the same time, you know, I think that it might be a little bit of a process. Bringing in Mills as the head coach, certainly a great idea. I mean, this guy did everything that he could do at Oral Roberts. I think Wichita State, not back quite to the Greg Marshall levels, but it's going to take a little bit of time. The last time out, we saw Bell in that loss to Liberty put up 24 points in that one. Certainly promising. And, you know, Wichita State shot just 2 of 14 from beyond the arc. That's going to take you out of the game in a hurry and shooting just 42% from the floor and 76% from the charity stripe. You're going to have to be better than that against the good teams. But uh, we know that we've seen Wichita State do better than that this season. That game against Coastal Carolina, it was a push for a lot of people. It was a win for some people. Once again, it was Bell leading the way in that one with 20 points. When we look at this St. Louis team, not a bad team either. That loss to, to uh, Vermont, I think they just lost to a better team. And regardless of you know the final score being 10 points, um, you know, really had nothing to do with it one way or another. You know, for the Billikens, it was uh, Hargrove Jr. with 15 in that one and Jimerson with 18. But I still think that St. Louis is going to be a team, you know, that's going to be tough this season. We know that the, that the A-10 conference has come up tough just about every single year. I think Dayton and St. Louis certainly teams to, to watch out for. Certainly not going to be pushovers. We saw them in that win over Wyoming, a 10-point win, 79-69, that they can be pretty tough. And it was Parker in that one who came up big with 22 and Dowger with 17. So what we see from St. Louis, kind of a diverse bunch of guys that all can play and all can take over. It's just a matter of putting it all together, um, you know, on the court. And, you know, when you're playing in these in these preseason tournament scenarios, I mean, these are tough games. Only one team's going to walk out, uh, you know, the winner. And uh, in this case, it's certainly not going to be St. Louis. But, you know, like I said, they still have a chance for, to salvage something in this one. I think this one's going to be a bit of a dogfight, though. And I think, you know, Wichita State, we've seen them struggle a little bit on the boards in some of these games. And to me, that's just a little bit uh, disturbing. And I think, you know, it's certainly going to create some problems. I think when a smaller team like Liberty out-rebounds you, it kind of is, is a little bit of a sign I'm going to lean to St. Louis in this one. I'm not rushing to bet it, but that's going to be my free pick. Of course, if you're looking for more help for your picks, be sure to check out our betting tools at Sports Chat Place. We'll tell you how often historically all the bets on the board have hit. Take a look at those next to today's odds, and that way um, it can assess exactly where the value is on today's card.